Yes, sir. What up, everybody? It's your girl, Ray, and today we're going to go over the top 10 sneakers of 2022. Now, first of all, I want to do a top 10 2022 sneaker that I have caught and the top 10 2022 sneaker of 2022. So my top 10 2022 pickups are, so starting at number 10, we have the Blueprint Air Max 1. So this shoe is just a gorge to me. Y'all know the story, y'all saw it on sneakers, but beautiful shoe. I believe this is number 10 on my top 10 pickups of the year. So number nine for me is the Taxi Jordan 1s. Now I feel like those shoes are very slept on. I didn't expect them to be that slept on. Um, I think the shoe is beautiful. Um, granted, I know a lot of people aren't into the color yellow, which is fair, but I feel like if you don't have a yellow shoe in your collection, you need to pick one up. So, Taxi Ones, number nine. Number eight, the Rick and Morty Mellow Ball Ones. Those shoes were a need. I watched Rick and Morty. I've watched it several times. Um, I love Mellow Ball's gameplay. Um, he is funny as a person. I, you know, if you watched the Ball family growing up, you probably are a fan of LaMelo. So that was a must pick up for me. Um, and like I said, Rick and Morty is sitting at number eight for 2022 pickups. Number seven, UNC Six. I am a Six fan. I'm a Six fanatic. Um, there are a few Sixes that I did not pick up this year that I need to reach back on um, because I was focused on more of the collaborative shoes. I need to reach back on those GR shoes because they do have some history to it and I do love Sixes. But number seven is the UNC Six. Beautiful, beautiful shoe. Number six, the Union Two Ratons. These shoes are gorgeous to me. I don't know what people are talking about, whether you put the cream laces in or the yellow laces in. I have the yellow laces in right now because I had a yellow hat that matched with it. Um, I need to switch it back to the cream. But this shoe is amazing to me. Like, I don't even like to, but these actually turned my head for sure. So I had to cop these. Um, these in particularly, I don't really care for the blue pair. I thought I did, but the more time went on this year, this shoe is the star of the show. Ratons sitting in at number six on my list. Number five, the Concept Air Max Pack. As you can see down there, yeah, number five. The Heavies, my favorite. Mellows, I wear the most. Far Outs, my least favorite. Um, I really don't need them. I could trade them for something else, but I did want to complete the pack, so they are there. But the Heavies are beautiful. Just beautiful with that orange and that little camo tiger stripe print man man that is a beautiful shoe people are listing that as their sneaker of the year and i don't blame them because that shoe is a beaut and like i said mellows are amazing too um they're easier to wear to me i wear them the most i probably worn my heavies once and i've worn my mellows probably six times now so yeah mellows are amazing and far outs i haven't worn i've probably worn for a video but that was about it um they've just been sitting in there so yep number five concept air max pack at number four the military black fours now i think people were like iffy about them because they are just a black and white shoe and they're thinking them as like the panda fours or something like that but fours are comfortable and it's black and white and it's leather, has a little bit of suede, but it's a beautiful shoe for sure. Um, I understand why people doubled up on it because it's a shoe that you could wear anytime, any day. If you don't want to be like everybody else wearing pandas, those are the shoes to throw on. Um, they're more comfortable than pandas. They're like the upgraded version of the pandas and they just look better to me. So if you don't want to be like everybody else wearing pandas, military black fours are the way to go. Um, and yeah, comfortable. Make sure you size up in your fours, guys. Go up a half size, mainly for wide footers, but I'm telling you, it helps out a lot. I can wear a size eight in fours, but that pinky toe, man, nope, can't. <laughs> it's just, it's a no after a few hours. So yeah, military black fours sitting at number four. Number three, the orange lobsters, man. Orange lobsters are beautiful, man. I love the color orange. Um, lately, orange has been my thing. I like orange. I like green. Those are two colors. Those are two colors 
that have been peaking up on my color interest list. My favorite color is still blue, but green and orange are getting up there for sure. Um, those orange lobsters, if you own any of the lobsters, you know how amazing these shoes are. Um, I have happened to own none of the other lobsters. I only own the, I only own the orange lobsters. I wish I had the purple and the green that came out in 2018. Um, the blue is cool, the red is cool, um, but those came out so long ago, I wouldn't have been, definitely wouldn't have thought of that. But I wish I did cop the purple and the greens. Um, but yeah, orange lobsters sitting at number three. At number two, Alma Manier 4s. Alma Manier 4s was my last video. Beautiful shoe. Like, come on, come on. These, come on. Come on, man. I don't gotta say much. I don't have to, with the Nike Air on the back. I ain't gotta say much. That is number two on my list. And number one for my overall, or I mean, number one, and number one for my 2022 pickups, the Lost and Founds. As you can see right there, Lost and Founds had to be number one on my top 22 pickups. But now, top 10 overall, we're gonna go through this a little bit quicker. And here we go. Number 10, Union Two Batons. Showed you this earlier. Yes, number 10. Number nine, Heavy Air Max or the Travis Saturns. I put them side by side because those are like my top two Air Maxes of the year. So they kind of sit right next to each other. The Heavy Air Max and the Travis Saturns sit at number nine. Number eight, the UNC Sixes. Beautiful shoe. I'm a six fan, so if you don't like sixes, this might not be on your list, but I'm a six fan. I think that shoe is executed perfectly. I love that color. Number eight. Number seven, Mamacitas. Sadly, was not able to cop. I did not get EA on these. And obviously, the site was bought it, so nobody copped on the site. So EA was your best bet, and I did not get EA. I ended up getting EA on Starfish 13s. Anyway, Mamacitas at number seven. Number six, Reverse Mochas. The Travis Reverse Mochas are probably my favorite Jordan 1s by Travis thus far. Um, I don't think they, I don't think the fragments beat them. I don't, the original Mogas definitely don't beat them. Um, the black, uh, the phantoms don't beat them either. So reverse Mogas are definitely at my top. When it comes to Travis's Jordan 1s, my favorite Travis's are still the 6s. But when it comes to Jordan 1s, that is the one to beat. So yes, Travis reverse Mocha at number 6. Number 5, the Off-White Air Force 1 Green Sparks. I know Roscoe doesn't really like this shoe because it's a different color, but I love green. I went to a university that the main color was green. So the off-white Air Force One Green Sparks were a off-white shoe that I really, really wanted and was not able to obtain, sadly. They did never, I don't think they ever did a sneaker release, which is crazy to me. They never did EA or anything like that. They just did the, I think these shoes were in Brooklyn. They just did a Brooklyn release, I believe, and that was it. If they ever do come back, best believe I'm going after them. But off white Air Force One, Green Sparks sitting at number five. Number four, Military Black Four, we already discussed it. I think these shoes are probably in everybody's collection or people do want these shoes still to put in their collection. So I think these deserve a number four spot for sure. Number three, Orange Lobsters. Everybody's going for Orange Lobsters. I was going for Orange Lobsters. These have to be on the list somewhere. These are number three to me. I think these shoes are beautiful. The best SB that came out this year to me are the Orange Lobsters. After that, the Paisley Ducks. Number two, All My Manier Fours. We discussed this. This was my last video. These are number two. I told y'all they were top three and they were not three. <laughs> they were number two. Um, if this particular shoe didn't come out, these would be number one for me. But as you guys know, the Lost and Founds. The Lost and Founds came out this year, so those had to be my number one. I had a double up. I sold it for the low to somebody who needed them, and I absolutely regret it. I am still looking for another double up, preferably at retail, but you know, it is what it is. I do have one pair, so I am grateful for that one pair, but the Lost and Founds sit at my number one. Like, come on, bro. These shoes here, bro, and freaking insane. Had to be on my top one, top three, top 10. These are number one. These are sneaker of the year. Yes, I said it. These are sneaker of the year. Nobody can change my mind about it because come on. Like if you don't have the previous Chicago's that came out, 
these have to be on your top uh top 10 at least top three of shoes of the year so come on now like look at these now i know people don't like the crackling on the hill i understand um if you were able to get the previous re-release of the chicago you're lucky um i wasn't really copying shoes at the time like that so i wasn't able to cop that but i had to cop these lost and bonds by any means necessary i was ready to do trades i was ready to do any, anything i needed to get my hands on a pair and i was able to hit on two pairs man i was able to hit on two pairs of these um but yeah beautiful shoe i've already worn them um for my video that's when i worn them but yeah that is my top 10 sneakers of the year of 2022 um let me know how y'all like the ranking um is there a shoe that i should have uh, replaced with another shoe um let me know your top 10s as well and yeah please like share and subscribe i appreciate each and every one of y'all so so much have a great holiday I know New Year's is around the corner, so drink responsibly, and let's see what 2023 has for us. Salute.